You saw a video on X, asked, where is this video from, and Grok gave you a link. Congratulations, you just became a victim of history's largest AI-powered cyber attack alongside five million other people. But here's the terrifying part. This isn't just another hack. This is the moment AI assistants officially became weapons, and most people don't even realize they're under attack. Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. By the end of this video, you will understand why the cybersecurity world is in complete panic mode, how a technique called grokking is redefining what cyber warfare looks like, and why every AI assistant you trust might already be compromised. September 4th, 2025. A regular Wednesday morning until cybersecurity researcher Nadi Tall from Guardio Labs posted something on X that sent shockwaves through the entire tech industry. He had discovered something that shouldn't exist, a way to turn Elon Musk's own AI assistant into a malware distribution network. But let's back up. For months, X had been struggling with malicious advertising. Scammers were constantly trying to sneak harmful links into promoted posts, but X's security systems were getting better at catching them. The platform had implemented strict rules. No URLs in promoted content. Problem solved, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. What Naughty discovered was that cyber criminals had found a loophole so ingenious, so perfectly crafted, that it turned X's own AI assistant into their most powerful ally. They called it grokking, a technique that exploits the very trust we place in AI systems. Here's how it works, and this will blow your mind. Attackers create promoted video ads, usually featuring adult content or sensational material to grab attention. But here's the genius part. They don't include any clickable links in the main post. Instead, they hide the malicious URL in a tiny metadata field called from beneath the video player. X's security systems don't scan this field. It's invisible to their malware detection. It's like hiding a bomb in plain sight, disguised as decorative wallpaper. But the hiding was just step one. The real masterstroke came next. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because what I'm about to show you will change how you look at AI forever. Once the malicious link is hidden in the metadata, the attackers do something that's simultaneously brilliant and terrifying. They reply to their own promoted post with an innocent question. Hey, Grok, where is this video from? Or what's the source of this content? And this is where everything goes wrong. Grok, functioning exactly as designed, scans the video's metadata, finds the hidden from field, and helpfully provides a response. Based on the metadata, this video appears to be from maliciouswebsite.com, complete with a clickable link. But here's what makes this attack so devastatingly effective. When Grok responds, it's not just any account responding. It's a verified system-level account with absolute credibility. X's own algorithms treat Grok's responses as high-quality content, boosting their reach and SEO value. Suddenly, a link that X's security systems would have blocked instantly is being promoted by X's own AI assistant to millions of users. It's like having a bank security guard personally escort a robber into the vault. The numbers are staggering. According to Guardio Labs research, some of these campaigns have reached over 5 million impressions. One specific example they documented showed a promoted post that accumulated 4.3 million views, with Grok's malicious response being seen by hundreds of thousands of users. And the links? They lead to sophisticated malware campaigns, fake capture verification pages that steal your information, credential harvesting sites designed to look legitimate, information-stealing malware that can empty your digital life. But this isn't just about one attack. This represents a fundamental shift in how cybercrime operates. Cybersecurity expert Andrew Bolster from Black Duck calls Grok a prime example of what he terms the lethal trifecta, high-risk AI systems that combine three critical capabilities that make them perfect weapons when compromised. First, massive reach. Grok has access to X's entire user base, hundreds of millions of people who see its responses as authoritative. 
Second, inherent trust. Unlike random accounts or suspicious links, Grok responses carry the full weight of X's credibility. Users don't question AI assistant recommendations the way they would question unknown sources. Third, algorithmic amplification. X's own systems are designed to promote and distribute Grok's content more widely, turning the platform's recommendation engine into a malware delivery system. But here's what's truly frightening. This isn't a bug, it's a feature. As Bolster explains, unlike traditional security vulnerabilities, in the AI landscape, this kind of manipulation isn't really a bug, it's a feature. The model is designed to respond to content regardless of whether it's malicious or not. Chad Craggle, Chief Information Security Officer at DeepWatch, puts it even more bluntly. Attackers hide links in the ad's metadata and then ask Grok to read it out loud. Platforms need to scan hidden fields and organizations must train users that even a verified assistant can be fooled. This attack represents something we've never seen before in cybersecurity, the weaponization of helpfulness itself. Every time an AI tries to be useful, it potentially becomes dangerous. And the scope of this problem extends far beyond just X and Grok. What Guardia Labs discovered isn't just a Grok problem, it's an AI problem. Their research revealed that Grok is already one of the most vulnerable AI systems in existence. Previous security assessments found that three out of four jailbreak techniques work against Grok. While competitors like ChatGPT and Claude successfully defend against all four, but the grokking technique doesn't even require jailbreaking. It uses the AI exactly as intended, turning its legitimate functionality into a weapon. And this is just the beginning. Security researchers are already identifying similar vulnerabilities in other AI systems. The same social engineering tactics that work on Grok could potentially be adapted for other AI assistants, chatbots, and automated systems. Think about it. If attackers can manipulate Grok on X, what's stopping them from manipulating ChatGPT in customer service systems, or Claude in enterprise environments, or any of the thousands of AI assistants being integrated into everything from banking apps to medical devices? The research team at Guardio Labs found hundreds of accounts engaging in grokking behavior over just a few days. Each account was posting hundreds or even thousands of similar posts before getting suspended. As they noted, it looks very organized, suggesting this isn't amateur hour, but professional cybercriminal operations. Even more disturbing, the links they're distributing connect to sophisticated traffic distribution systems the same infrastructure used by major malware-as-a-service operations. This isn't just pranks or simple scams. This is enterprise-level cybercrime using AI as their primary delivery mechanism. Tall confirmed to security publications that he contacted X about the vulnerability and received unofficial confirmation that Grok engineers received the report. But as of the time of recording this video, X hasn't responded to media requests about whether they plan to fix the issue. Which brings us to the most frightening question of all. The grokking attack represents a fundamental shift in cybersecurity because it exploits something we never considered vulnerable before, trust in AI systems. For decades, cybersecurity has been about protecting against malicious software, suspicious links, and untrustworthy sources. We taught users to be suspicious of unknown emails, questionable websites, and suspicious downloads. But we never taught them to be suspicious of helpful AI assistance. When Grok provides a link, users don't apply the same skeptical thinking they would to a random email or pop-up ad. They see it as a helpful service from a trusted system. It's like having a cyber criminal who doesn't look like a cyber criminal. Instead, they look like your most trusted advisor. The proposed solutions reveal just how unprepared we are for this new reality. Tall suggests scanning all metadata fields, blocking hidden links, and adding context sanitization to prevent AI from echoing unvetted URLs. But these are reactive measures to a proactive threat. The real problem runs deeper. 
As AI assistants become more integrated into our digital lives, helping us shop, work, communicate, and make decisions, each integration point becomes a potential attack vector. Every helpful response could be a Trojan horse. And here's the most chilling part. This attack succeeded because Grok worked exactly as intended. The AI wasn't hacked, corrupted, or compromised. It was simply asked to be helpful. And that helpfulness was weaponized against millions of users. This means every AI assistant, every chatbot, every automated system that's designed to help users by interpreting and responding to content is potentially vulnerable to similar manipulation. We're not just dealing with a security vulnerability, we're dealing with the weaponization of artificial intelligence itself. The cybersecurity industry has spent decades building defenses against human attackers using digital tools. Now, we have to build defenses against human attackers using artificial intelligence as their weapon of choice. And the scariest part? This is probably just the beginning. The grokking attack isn't just a wake-up call for X or Elon Musk. It's a wake-up call for our entire relationship with AI technology. As these systems become more powerful, more trusted, and more integrated into our daily lives, they become more attractive targets for those who want to exploit that trust. The next time an AI assistant helpfully provides you with a link, a recommendation, or a suggestion, remember this video. Remember that helpfulness can be weaponized, that trust can be exploited, and that the most dangerous attacks often come from the sources we least suspect. The age of AI-powered cybercrime has officially begun. The question isn't whether your favorite AI assistant will be compromised, it's when and whether you'll recognize it when it happens. What do you think? Are we prepared for a world where our AI helpers might secretly be working for cyber criminals? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching AI Handbook, where we expose the truth about artificial intelligence that others won't tell you. Subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the AI revolution, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll explore how to protect yourself in the age of weaponized AI.